I think the scientific method has a very good place in root cause analysis. You form your hypothesis. Now, a good hypothesis needs to be testable. If you can't test it, it serves no purpose whatsoever. Bigfoot did it. You can't prove it didn't, can't find out. I'd say it's a valid, awful hypothesis. A good hypothesis you can actually check. I think the bolt is missing. Well, go ahead and look, see if the bolt's missing. Hypothesize. You might, some people might want to call it theorizing. I use the word hypothesis. It's not the terminology ma that matters. It's the actions that you're taking. Once you've hypothesized, evaluate it, test it. And I say in root cause analysis, I'm happy to be wrong four or five times in a row. If that sixth time, I'm correct in 10 minutes. I can guarantee you, management's not gonna say, look at that guy, he was wrong five times in 10 minutes. Oh, and he solved the problem. No, they want the solution, hypothesize. If you have a chance, get data, look at your part. That's probably the most important thing I will say. It's not anything new. Shinan tells us, talk to the parts. They're smarter than engineers. But I don't think that message is sticking yet. Look at the part, if it's there. Look at your production data, if you have it available. Now I'm talking about root cause analysis in general. Each situation varies. Is it one part out of a million that failed? Maybe the data won't tell you as much. You're gonna to have to look at the part. Do you have a 20% failure rate when you've produced a million parts? That's awful, but that's gonna be an easier one to solve. You have data to look at. Use that to form your first hypothesis. Now, if you don't have that, well, go ahead and take that guess, but make sure you can test it. And make sure while you're testing it, if you reject it, form a new hypothesis while you were testing. Did you observe anything? I thought the bolt was missing, but wow, this is really rusted. Don't stop, we found rust, it's the root cause. Well, no, let's go ahead and test that. Could that have possibly caused your problem? This could actually be combined with multiple methods. There's plan, do, check, act. This fits well, most quality professionals know it. We use it for quality improvement. We can go ahead and use this for root cause analysis and quick cycles. And when I say quick cycles, I mean really, let me pick up the part. Nope, my hypothesis was wrong. Did I see something? No, well, what could it be? No, maybe it's that, go ahead and look there. If you don't have any other information available, plan, do. The do is you're looking at it or evaluating. This could actually be a long-term test. Suppose you have to put it in an environmental test chamber and let it run for a week for four staging. The cycle takes longer. And hopefully you can do other testing in parallel. Check, what is the result? Did it support my hypothesis? I'd hate to say confirm because, well, in science, it's always tentative. It's the white swan. I think a lot of people might know that already. All swans are right. Every 17th century scientist knew this, that knew about birds, until they went to Australia and found a black swan. That hypothesis was a good one. It's testable. And at some point, it could be refuted. So it's always tentative. But you want a very strong tentative hypothesis when you're ready to say, that's my root cause. Act. Verify your root cause. Make sure it really is that. If not, go back to the beginning. Or that wasn't the root cause, back to the beginning. Go through that next cycle. If you verified it, now it's time for the traditional plan, do, check, act. Get those improvements in based on the root cause. And we can never know 100% was it really that, but we can be confident that it is. Not in a statistical sense, but we can be rather certain. Ideally, turn the problem on and off. When it's in this condition, the problem's there. When that condition's gone, the problem's gone. If we were philosophers, we would say we can never really know. We're quality professionals, we're a bit more pragmatic. We've solved the problem, or we've identified the problem. Now we can solve it.